Dan from Speaking Dog Canine Services. Today we're talking about decreasing arousal at Neuropark and we're doing that simply by spreading out treats as you see here in the video. Um, I just spread out the treats and the arousal decreased and what's happening now is the dogs using their natural exploratory behaviors to try and seek out the traits. In addition to the dog's brain sensory systems having to sniff out and find the treats, the dog's brains also have to account for the obstacles that are in the way here. So there's some proprioceptive work included in this exercise. You can see the dogs are spreading out now, but the arousal is still low. Here we are at the Mikado stations right at the back of Neuropark. I just spread the treats out. Um, through the branches and the high grass. This makes it a little bit um, of a more difficult exercise for the dog. Again, the goal is to keep arousal low. Here we're right at the front of Neuro Park. Uh, there are two tree stumps there where I um, put the treats into the gaps so the dogs can seek out the treats at the same time have to um, find a way to actually unlock them from the bark and the little hole. I can use the car suspensions uh, for the same principle. I put the treats within the gaps of the car suspension and this way the dogs have to problem solve and find a way to get to the treats. Now these exercises are great, especially for dogs that um, are called reactive dogs. Um, it's really vital that with hyper dogs or so-called reactive dogs that we use exercises to actually bring arousal down, not exercises that um, hype arousals up, like for example a lot of ball throwing. Although I use ball throwing like once or twice and then use the same ball for the dogs to find. This way I um, can get the dog to have a little bit of running and at the same time uh, then engage explorative behaviors um, with the ball as well. In the maze I can lay out the treats on the pathways, um, this way they have to seek out the way to the treats uh, while they're seeking for the treats. Um, once the maze establishes more and there are less gaps between the plants, this would actually be a much harder exercise. You can also see, or well, I should say, you can also hear that I don't use any commands, so I don't tell the dog what to do because every time we actually do so, we disturb the processes that are going on in the brain. And what we really want to bring out are these natural exploratory behaviors that are low arousal. So at Neuropark, really, the less you say, the better. That's really the idea.
Thank <laughs> you.